Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have another update on the eruption. There has been a brand new 3D model released yesterday, and I just wanted to show you all. I put a link in description, so definitely check it out. But I wanted to go through the eruption, take a look at how much it's grown, and take a look at where the paths are and what the dangers have been. If you've been watching my previous videos, some of the paths are starting to get closed off even more than they have already. So let's just jump in. If we take a look, starting from where people will come in from the parking lot, you're walking up through this way here, this path down here. You can see this is this is not the parking lot, but you're parking just off screen down here and this white area. And this is the start. This is where you can get a hot dog, some soda, some pop, Coke, you know, snacks, whatever you want for the trip. And then you make your journey along this path here, connect up to this dirt path around this mountain. And then you have two climbs that you need to do. The first one is right here. Very easy. They have sort of used machines to level it out. So you're not slipping all over the place. It's very, very doable. And then you continue forth. The second climb used to be a little bit more difficult. You would you used to have to go up to the left here, but it seems now that they've looped you around to be a bit easier. I think a number of reasons that they've done that, it was pretty steep and a lot of very loose gravel and sand down in this bottom second climb. And so by doing this, it's probably a more gradual way up. Now, if we continue up further, we can see the first lava pool is actually inching closer and closer to the, the path that everyone's taking to get close to the eruption. Now, this isn't the one that they're even worried about that's going to overtake the path. That's a little bit further, but I'm, I'm surprised at how close this is getting because this is the first viewpoint through this lava here was where you would initially walk when the eruption first started. So you make your way up, standing right down here. If we just angle the camera and you get a nice first view, if we can make this happen. Yeah, it's somewhere, somewhere around here. A nice first view of the eruption and you can see it very well. A lot of people are taking pictures from this point. But the real great vantage point is when you continue along the path around this mountain and up here on this second vantage point. This is the one that I think is the best. You get so close. I mean, you can see here how close that you're getting. If you've looked at my live streams I did, some of the pictures I posted in previous videos, you'll see how close and how amazing it is. But the problem is the lava is now, as you can see, very close to going over and connecting with this other side. If you watched my last video, the police and the rescue team are very concerned about this because they don't want people to go up this hill slash mountain, I guess, and get stuck because the lava could suddenly, all of a sudden, I just said it twice, but it could all of a sudden go over and close off the path so you can't get back. Now, when you go up there, typically people are hanging out for maybe an hour, maybe more. And if you're watching the eruption, you might not realize what's going on behind you. Even if you do realize it, it's going to be very difficult to try and run down and extremely dangerous to try to run down and beat the flow of lava from trapping you on this area. If you get trapped, then they're going to be sending helicopters and it's, it's going to be a nightmare for everyone. So the police tried to stop everyone. It was in the news that people are rude about it and they were ignoring all of the warnings, ignoring the police tape. So the rescue team, the police, they said, okay, you know what? We're not going to guard it anymore. Don't be stupid. Don't get trapped up there. You shouldn't go there. Please listen to the advice, but we're not going to police it anymore. So if you are going to the eruption, keep that in mind that although people are not going to be physically stopping you from going up to this vantage point, it is still not recommended to do so. The good news is they're saying that the lava over in this area that will go over the path has slowed slightly from what it was before. So it went from happening within hours to maybe it's going to be in the next couple days, which is very good. But again, things can change very, very quickly. So be mindful of that if you're taking that route. Now you can see down here where they have built up this lava wall and it worked pretty well. You can see there's some of it's overtaking it. It's a huge amount of lava 
going up against here and this was more of a test rather than trying to actually stop it. Further along we can see the lava going down to Natahai and this is the main concern because the lava here has a very easy path down to the road. Now if we remember this is the road right here where it, this map cuts off into the white. You can see a bit of the road down here. So it's not going to take too much for the lava to hit the road. And they're saying that, you know, it's going to happen at some point, as, especially if the lava keeps flowing and the eruption keeps going. And to me, this valley is its just like a straight line. It's just going to go straight, straight down and hit the road. So that's another concern they're looking at. What are we going to do? How are we going to protect the road? It is not the only way out for the people of Grindavik. They do have, you know, going the other direction in the road. But it is a main, a main road to connect Grindavik to the south coast of Iceland. So they are looking at how to stop that. One thing I was looking at as well is not only do we need to worry about this lava connecting and possibly feeding more into Natahai, but this second part here should it overtake there's a couple of options that it's going to take a couple of directions that it's going to go but my guess is it will go and then also connect up to Natahai and towards the road so you'll we'll potentially have three different lava streams all merging rushing towards the road that's what i think is the main concern one thing that I just want to touch on before we end the video here is when we first went there's a bunch of cones and now they are all these little tiny babies and we just have this one big one that's left so amazing to me when i first went i was like wow this is you know a big volcano but obviously it's grown a lot and it is much bigger than i thought it was going to be fantastic to have these 3d views because you can take a look exactly what's going on and the sheer scale of it and when you're on this, you know, the link that I posted in the description, you can see back on various dates and you can check how the lava flow is, you know, over the last six to eight weeks and taking a look at the 3D map, which I think is very, very cool and very fun. You kind of get lost in it. You can see exactly where all the lava is going, like over here. No idea that that was happening. So that's what I wanted to cover today. Uh, path A, who knows? Eventually that's probably going to be shut off. Path B over this way, I think that's maybe the, the way to go once the other path is gone. And perhaps you can get a better vantage point because path B is going to lead you up this area. You can see here's the path. It's going to lead you up this area to the other side, which if the other path is shut off, path B is going to give you the closer view. So I hope you enjoyed it. This video was a bit longer than I expected, but I can't get enough of these 3d views and i hope i hope you all like it as well again check in the description for the link play around with it let me know what you think i know a lot of you are saying that this volcano and this eruption is kind of small but to me it's exciting so that's it <laughs> hope you liked it if you liked the video hit the like button if you want to see more of this stuff hit subscribe i post about the volcano and the eruption quite frequently as well as other things in iceland such as food and drinks coming up so until next time thank you so much